This is your CBS News Baltimore update for Sunday, April 28th. I'm Niana Massey. Recreational boaters can travel in and out of the Patapsico today. A total of four temporary channels are now open following the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge just over a month ago. This comes as more than 1,300 tons of steel have been salvaged from the site. This will be a one way at a time during specific hours. Recreational traffic will be one at a time, and outbound will be from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Inbound is set from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. Meanwhile, a crash that killed a woman in Montgomery County early Saturday morning is under investigation by the state's attorney general's office. The wreck happened just before 2.30 in the morning around Rockville Pike near Flanders Avenue. The AG's office says two Montgomery County Sheriff's deputies saw a Dodge sedan speeding north on Rockville Pike. They turned on their lights and sirens and tried to find the vehicle. They came upon a two-car crash involving the Dodge at a Honda near Twin Brook Parkway. The driver of the Honda was killed. A passenger in the Honda was hurt. The man driving the Dodge ran away from the scene but was then caught a short time later. Well, an iconic civil rights activist, Helena Hicks, has died earlier this month. In 1955, she was the lead organizer of the Morgan State University students who took part in a sit in at Reed's Drug Store. That led to the desegregation of the chain stores throughout Baltimore. Hicks grew up in Sandtown, Winchester, and was a graduate of both Baltimore's Frederick Douglass High School and Morgan State, where she received her bachelor's in psychology. Hicks' funeral will take place on Monday, May 6th. Helena Hicks was 88 years old. And that's your CBS News Baltimore update. I'm Niana Massey.